Hi guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well and this reading finds you in a good way. My name is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I want to welcome you to my channel and I want to welcome you to this reading. Um, if you're new watching this video, I'm going to be doing a Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine reading. This is a personal reading that I offer if you're interested in getting this type of reading for yourself. I will have that information in the description box. Um, so there's going to be a series of questions. So it may not resonate with everybody. So follow your intuition and take the energies how they apply to your situation. Okay, so uh, the first question here is, what is the Divine Masculine's thoughts about you? So we're going to be looking at it overall for the, our collective on our channel. So our the the Twin Flame Collective that we are helping, um, I'm going to ask in a good way um, for some energy as it relates to our collective for the highest good of all. And so we're going to find out what are the Divine Masculine's thoughts about you at this time. All right, so we are going to use one of these cards. This is the True Love Oracle. Okay, so for our YouTube collective, <clears throat> please and thank you for the highest good of all. What is the Divine Masculine's current thoughts? Of the Divine Feminine. His current, his current thoughts right now are having to do with the commitment. I do feel um, he's, he could be, he could be thinking about divine masculine. It's not gender specific. He could be definitely thinking about the future with divine feminine. What kind of commitment that he needs to make or, um, I do feel like it's something to do with maybe some sort of planning. I do feel like he's maybe understanding how um, they could be more in a commitment type of energy. I do feel like it's more, it's like they're wondering about this commitment, right? But it's not like, it's not, it's not like, um, oh, should I do this or not? No, it's nothing like that. It's having to do with like, you know, what can I do, um, to make it, what can I do to make it better? That's what I'm getting here. What can I do to make it more graceful, um, more calm um where the both of us can be vulnerable where the both of us can be uh together where the both of us can can share you know and be at peace with one another okay because we do have at the bottom here inner peace um so i do feel it's about the both of you feeling at peace with each other because we have here, it says here, you are enough. And it says there's a feminine here writing in a journal. And it says, I am enough. All right. And and she's there's in this, um, in her book that she's writing. All right. We have all these symbols. All right. That have been, that are either being shown in some way, or these are some of the symbols that she's working with, all right? And I'm saying she because I'm seeing a feminine here, right? But I do feel like this inner peace is like the both of you being in this peace. Because you can see the swans here and I just feel like they're both at peace and they're both at peace with each other. We have these lilies here. So it's something very gentle, all right? And it, with that moon there, everything is calm in this. Even though there's these emotions that are so strong and the stars are there, 
it's something that is very beautiful and graceful and i'm getting here in the thought space you know how can i achieve this or this is what i want all right and i do feel like this is divine masculine's thoughts um in connection to this commitment but uh we will get a clarifier all right so I'm using the first deck I've ever used uh, for public readings here. It's the first deck I used for uh, readings for the public. And this is like one of my favorite decks I ever got. This is the Love Tarot. Um, I don't have the full name of it. Oh, the Art of Love Tarot. Very beautiful deck. And we're going to clarify this commitment energy. Please clarify this commitment. There it is. Okay. Yes, refinement. You see? <laughs> Nine of trees. Um, so this is an energy here about how do I make it better, right? We have that uh, key word there, refinement. We have... Um, we have a tree here, and um, I am getting from this tree energy that, um, like the moon there, it seems to, like these are emotions. When I get moon energy, I get emotions, I get maybe sometimes fear, all right? And, and the moon is kind of like squashing the tree a little bit, right? And so I do get the sense here, it's like, okay, um, maybe I need to change things, all right? Maybe the environment or something that's happening in the external right now is not really um, fitting, you know, for this tree. Maybe I just need to kind of change things around a little bit. Maybe I need to refine things that are happening in the physical. Yes, there's a lot of emotions there, right? And he's thinking about how he can um, continue, you know, with even these kind of like big emotions, deep emo emotions, maybe fear, um, how I can continue to move forward there. Because the trees is uh, representing here in this deck the wands energy. So it's like that continuing to persevere. But in this case, we have refinement with this commitment. Very interesting. All right, so he's thinking about how to make things better. He's really thinking about how to to make things better, to have this really kind of gentle, peaceful connection. Okay. Um, so how are they? I'm going to show you the bottom here. I feel like I have to show you the bottom here. So we have this inner piece, right? And then at the bottom here, we have the shadow. So, yes, the shadow here is kind of like, you know, it's fear, right? So we have that moon that's unknown, that's fear, that is going to interfere with the peace, that's going to interfere with the knowing that you are enough. And because of that darkness and because of that fear and perhaps even that shadow aspect, right? Divine masculines, like I have to, I'm thinking about, he's thinking about how to change things, all right? So maybe perhaps that this fear, because we do have this moon here squashing that tree, that fear is also associated with the moon. It's like, okay, how can I, you know, move beyond this fear or move beyond what is being showcased in the external? Okay. <clears throat> how are they how are they experiencing you in their heart space? All right. So, angels, helpers and spirit. Can we find out now how the divine masculine is experiencing the divine feminine in his heart space?
six of hearts. Oh, there's two cards there. Sorry. Mm. Okay. So there's a contemplative energy here. The retreat. So in the heart center, we have... Um, it's the hermit card so he's experiencing the divine feminine either this is him being in this contemplative energy or it's like he ex he's experiencing the divine feminine in this contemplative energy but this is like almost like a vision quest so um a vision quest is like you're going to find the answers and you go to do that in solitude and you go to do that to be on your own and you examine you know a lot of different things that are going on in your life and uh, you do so like without you do a fast right and you go without food and water to um, do some contemplation and to really look at yourself and to you know to be blessed with some kind of answer right through through your sacrifice um maybe getting some kind of vision even some kind of dream some kind of answer by by doing that making that sacrifice so in this case here we have contemplation so that's kind of similar to what i'm getting here and this retreat could be actually like um you know taking a step back here and looking at the overall all right so i do feel like there's a lot of thinking happening there is a lot of like taking time all right um and we'll see what this retreat contemplation is connected to okay what is this retreat and contemplation connected to in divine masculine's heart space It's because there's this pull, there's this magnetic pull towards each other, the divine feminine. It's something that you cannot explain, okay? Um, so in the heart, he's looking at this energy. He's looking at the, the pull, the push and pull. He's looking at, you know, I'm so drawn, you know, to, to this person. You know, I'm so, uh, it's it's an energy, her energy, I cannot resist. Um, this is something that it, I cannot explain, all right? And um, this is what he's feeling in his heart, all right? So in his heart, it's something very major with that magnetic, right? Um, so divine feminine is definitely in divine masculine's heart space and he's kind of questioning it it's like okay what really you know is this that i'm feeling and i can't seem to resist this and i keep being pulled towards divine feminine right I feel like I'm going to get another card here and then I'm going to read the um, the bottoms here. Okay, and this, what is this magnetic, unexplainable pull? One more card, please and thank you too. Please and thank you. What is this connected to? Magnetic. 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 personal growth here okay okay so I am getting um, a couple of things um, we have a number seven there um, two nines 
And the seven here is about divine magic. This is a spiritual number, spiritual growth. I mean, personal growth here. We have purple here. So I do feel like this energy of this purple color is connected to something spiritual. And with that seven number, I do feel like it's connected to divine masculine spiritual extension. Um, he might be wanting, he might be contemplating uh, divine feminine, this magnetic pull, but as a way to grow, um, like, but I feel like this growth is having to do with spiritual growth as well. And this personal growth may be something that might be keeping him stuck in some way or causing him maybe perhaps some kind of depression or maybe stopping him from communicating here. So I'm just showing you the bottoms of the deck here. We have here single current status available. We have depression and communication, all right? I do feel in some way, like for some, like in separation and not communicating, there is um, some sadness here that Divine Masculine is feeling. Uh, the Four of Hearts is the Four of Cups this case we have depression all right so depression is an ongoing mood okay that's been going on you know for quite some time all right maybe a month or more where there's this kind of sad or empty kind of energy so this depression here is the first card is depression uh with the singles energy okay and communication so this single energy, whoever, it could be Divine Feminine, maybe single, and her status is currently available. It could be um, feeling some type of loss in relation to her status being single, and this communication where maybe Divine Feminine for some has communicated uh, something to the Divine Masculine causing him some type of depression. Or this could very well be where uh, there has been no communication and Divine Masculine knows that Divine Feminine is single and there is some kind of depression here, all right? Or this could be about him being depressed in his, in his energy. He's in this depressed kind of energy um, and, uh, you know, not maybe, maybe not going towards... Um, making himself available all right I'm not too sure on that part there but I had to mention it might resonate with some here but um, maybe even not even communicating about this even all right so with that here <clears throat> we have contemplation <clears throat> Whether or not, um, I do feel like this personal growth is to get out of this slumpy type of energy, I do feel. I do feel like it's for him to get out of this kind of low vibrational state, to get out of that down in the dumps, to get out of that sad and type of hurt and type of loss feeling, okay? But this is the contemplative state. So he's more in the energy of looking at this energy, going within in relation to this energy. Hmm. All right. So we're going to go to the third question. What is happening in Divine Masculine's environment when it comes to the Divine Feminine? Okay. All right, what is, um, what is happening in the Divine Masculine's environment? What is happening in his environment when it comes to the Divine Feminine? Okay, so there may be other people uh, in Divine Masculine's environment where 
other other people might be uh, helping him in some way um, we have your rescue others involved there is some kind of people coming in to maybe help out with the situation I'm going to find out what this is connected to the intervention <clears throat> intervention communication okay so we have communication here happening showing up in the environment here this is a number six so Okay, at the bottom here we have follow your dreams and we have TikTok. Deadline time is running out. Um, <clears throat> so this is in relation to the divine masculine's dreams and this is having to do with some kind of deadline related to his dreams and this is happening in the physical and it's connected to the divine feminine here where it seems like what's happening in the environment is that there is other people in some way that are coming in to help with some type of communication here and this communication um, it could be involving a group of people it could be um, maybe talking to the Divine Feminine in some way. Um, I'm going to ask what this communication is connected to. Oh, there's the card. Okay, so we have here Consciousness of Happy Success here. Number eight. And you could see here, somebody's very happy. They feel very blessed and they are feeling very successful. And I do feel like it's connected with the heart here because this person has a heart in their hands. Um, so it's definitely connected to the heart. And look what we have in Divine Masculine's heart here. Um, so it could be from the answer from this contemplation to take some type of action maybe to communicate he might be getting some kind of encouragement from maybe some people in his in his world um this could also be divine masculine uh working with people to maybe even for some rescue the divine feminine and and and, and it involving it involving some kind of communication to have happiness to have success um and these are i do feel matters connected to the divine masculine's heart because i do see that this heart in the divine masculine's hand so i do feel here there's something here in the environment that he is working on to ensure some kind of successful outcome and it it is going to involve some other people I do feel and um, it's there is some kind of deadline here is what I'm getting okay um, okay so the next question is what actions will they be taking so let's find out the actions now I'm going to be using the uh, tarot here and I'm gonna get two actions I'm gonna get two energies for the actions and then we'll keep going further here be taking relating to the divine feminine Oops. 
Ace of Trees. This is uh, Ace of Wands. There is something starting here. We're going to get another energy. That's another action Divine Masculine will be taking in relation to Divine Feminine. Thank you. We have number five. This is the Hierophant energy. We have the Teacher. Okay, so interesting. Okay. The bottom here is the Nine of Hearts, which is the Nine of Cups. In this case, we have the energy of stability here as the key word. This is, whoops, this is having to do with um, with that refinement I do feel this is about making things stable so the refinement he's thinking about refinement how to make things more easy he's contemplating how to grow uh, be with this magnetic pull and then in the environment here there is some kind of um, through this answer I do feel that comes from the heart there is going to be some kind of action that might involve communication with the Divine Feminine. And so now the actions here uh, could be now, could be in the near future, we have a new passionate new start. So he could be wanting to initiate uh, a new start with the Divine Feminine in the energy of abundance here. So it's having to do with the high vibrational energy and it's having to do with plenty all right there could be even some kind of writing involved here um it says here i'm just gonna actually read what this says the land of my dreams you're an angel from heaven like the earth beneath my feet like a dream um one day the wind so there's words in here about it's like a story of seasons changing here and it's talking about a person here i do feel it's talking about how this person's soul has expanded and this person wants to have a new start in this case divine masculine wants to have a new start with an energy of abundance so i do feel like through some kind of trials and tribu tribulations here He's wanting to uh, initiate a new start here. We also have this energy of the teacher. I do feel like he wants to maybe come through as the teacher, all right? The teacher is somebody that is very knowledgeable. Um, I'm getting here very, uh, like, um, they're, they know about something they have deep wisdom, they have knowledge, they have maybe some kind of gifts, um, maybe psychic gifts, intuitive gifts. Um, there's some kind of knowing that this person has, but the key word here is clarity. So the divine masculine might come in to bring some type of clarity and maybe bring in some kind of teaching energy here. This is something I also get the sense here. This is something humble. I'm getting a humble type of energy here. Um, humbling oneself. Um, I'm also getting an energy of being vulnerable in some way. But the vulnerability is not like crying. It's like being open, I do feel. It's like a being open, but being humble. That's what I'm getting from that. Um, okay. What actions will be will they be taking? So they'll they're gonna start something here, and we're gonna find out what this is connected to. Um Actually, card. I'm going to use this card. The Ace of Trees. What is this in connection to? The Ace of Trees. Thank you. 
We have a meeting. We have two or more people discussing and planning. Okay, teacher. We have children, young, childhood, playful. find out about this meeting here can you tell me about this meeting Okay, I'm going to show you the card. We have all tied up. Okay, tell me about this all tied up. Ah, uh, taking steps. We have intention here. Okay, can you tell me about this ch children? Seven Chakra, Archangel Uriel. That's that alignment energy here that was showing up in his heart center. Um, okay, at the bottom here, um, we have Cornucopia. It's in the reverse, though. Um, so this is about a loss, all right? A loss of happiness, a loss of abundance, okay? And, and then we have that stability here. And then I gotta get the bottom for this. This is TikTok again. And I'm gonna get one card, one more card for this uh, Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. Oh, true love. Okay, I uh, I got something here already. I'm gonna go with this, what I got here right away. Um, Divine Masculine here is, he's gotten some type of clarity, all right? I do feel like through this clarity, it has been something uh, of a spiritual nature because we have this Archangel Uriel Seven Chakra. The Seven Chakra is on the top of the head. The crown uh, chakra and it's a purple color so we have that purple there right so he was in this contemplative energy and I do feel like the clarity will has come all right the clarity is connected to this children energy so there is some maybe uh, childhood trauma childhood wounding um, like child, inner child um, sensitivity, all right? Um, some kind of um, triggering maybe, all right? That is associated with maybe something from the childhood times. Um, and this could also be connected to children, all right? So there could be also children if divine has Ma uh, masculine or feminine have children all right um and it could be associated with um them being in a playful type of energy being um in their youth or child um energy okay playing um so there is something here that is being aligned and this alignment is associated with true love this true love I'm getting here, it could be di the divine feminine uh, in her loving herself, seeing herself. And there is some kind of understanding here maybe of the divine feminine 
uh, loving herself and maybe having some type of clarity as it relates to children if divine feminine has children now also too with this alignment it could be also associated with the divine masculine getting some type of clarity and coming forward as maybe a teacher uh, relating to some child um, sensitivity. I want to say sensitivity it could be whoever sensitivity um, coming in to bring some type of clarity as it relates to children um, so that some kind of alignment can occur here with true love. So there's different things here I am getting with this energy and I'm going to talk about the bottoms here. <clears throat> So I mentioned cornucopia. So the first part is this one. So it's stability. Then we have TikTok. Time is running out. Then we have cornucopia in reverse. And then we have decreasing this energy. So yes, this is very clear. Thank you, Spirit. This uh, is in relation to bringing about some type of stability um, to decrease um loss to decrease loss because it's time and time is running out so in relation to this the action is he's going to bring about some kind of new start here all right there's been a lot of trials here but there is going to be a new start and this new start here is coming from the he's coming from a place that of bringing in some kind of abundance all right this abundance here is going to involve people so we had that intervention there in the environment and it's showing up here two or more people discussing and planning there's some kind of planning here some kind of discussion happening with two or more people all right interesting um, I'm also getting, I was getting something else here. Um, there could be a, a, like a separate situation here as well. Another thing that I picked up with this meeting, this meeting with two or more people can involve, uh, could be, it won't, maybe it might not involve the divine feminine. Maybe she doesn't need to be included in this. But for some, it could be her being included in this as well. Or it could be the Divine Masculine bringing in the Ace of Trees while this meeting has already happened or is going to happen or occur or something like that, okay? This meeting is connected to things that are, um, things are not um, free. Taking actions towards being tied up to something, okay? So there is something that needs to be free here. Um, there is some kind of meeting that's going to happen involving maybe a couple people or more. And this is to take steps in relation to somebody maybe being tied up with the situation. And I do feel like Divine Masculine is going to bring a new start. This could involve Divine... Um, uh, it, this meeting might involve the Divine Feminine. It may not involve the Divine Feminine. Okay? But there is definitely going to be a new start here. The second one here in relation to this time running out to end this loss and bring about stability. I do feel like I'm going to get a clarifier for the um, teacher here. Can you please clarify the teacher? Just to see what the action is for the teacher energy. Can you please clarify the teacher? ground hmm five of heart sorrow okay clarify thank you oh two cards clarify five of sorrow with the teacher okay Okay. 
So what's going to happen here, the next action that he's going to be doing um, is he's going to be transitioning, okay? The Six of Angels is um, making some type of move into calmer waters here, transitioning from the energy of sorrow, all right? So the Five of Cups is the loss, the grief connected to past energy, and the sorrow here uh is is the energy that divine masculine wants to transition from and go into a calmer place and he's going to come in as this teacher energy in some way to bring about some type of clarity all right relating to either this is your children or it's having to do with um like inner child uh sensitivity in some way um to bring about some kind of alignment here um with true love all right so that's what i'm getting here now we're gonna find out now what is the special message from spirit uh, regarding the divine masculine okay thank you so much okay all right what is the special message what is the special message regarding Divine Masculine? What do you want to say about the Divine Masculine? What's happening with the Divine Masculine? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to get one more. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting two messages here. We have reveal your truth and show that you care. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have bottom here, trust in magic. And I got to clarify, reveal your truth. Show that you care. All right, so this this message here from Spirit is relating to any kind of darkness. Uh, this is could be relating to a shadow energy, the shadow aspect of the self. The fear associated with that shadow. Um, the fear, and this fear is connected to you or Divine Masculine trusting in the magic. So, like it's not happened yet. And because it's not happened, there may be some fear. But this is what they're wanting to bring a message about, okay? So, in relation to this, all right, this fear, and I, and in some way, the, like this magic, it could be connected with the magic between the two of you as well, because I'm seeing these two crows. You could be seeing two crows, I don't know. It could be uh, relevant. Um, we have here, though, this transition energy is coming up again, and we have here, reveal your truth. There is a lot of blue here. It could involve communication with the throat chakra, but there is something here where there needs to be some kind of energy of going into a place that is going to be a lot better by somebody needing to reveal the truth about themselves in some way. Um, this could be maybe talking about maybe something, the dark part of the self or like the mask. Maybe there was some kind of mask, maybe being honest about, you know, whatever this mask may be um, and, and just really being, you know, who you truly are and speaking that. Um, this could be, yeah, just like really standing up with, you know, 
expressing the truth of who you are and revealing that and this transition here could be like you know this this needs to occur you know don't be afraid trust in you know the divine okay um six of angels is that energy of transition uh there could be a lot of mind here there's a throat chakra energy here it could also do with your expression communication here all right being your authentic self being able to speak about that and then we have um show that you care and then we have it clarifying by the king of trees king of wands um is the architect okay so also i do feel this is um creating a foundation that um through this design through your um work all right divine masculine uh king of trees here uh build your foundation on care build your foundation on showing that you care all right showing that um this could be action king of trees is about action king of trees trees is being a natural leader so it's like you're teaching that you're being a natural leader in showing that you care this is how you're going to show leadership this is how you're going to teach other people by showing by doing um this could have to do with feminines this could do with divine feminine this could do with other feminine people other feminine people um but this could do with anybody with that show you care because we have that dragon there could be all of different relations um this architect is the person that creates right so be the person that creates the foundation that shows care true care showing that what does that look like um being empathetic helping somebody you know to pick up garbage you know instead of like um i don't know just not letting the other person just pick up garbage and and you're right there and you don't help that's not showing that you care you have an extra pair of hands you can help right um just just in that kind of way it doesn't really uh that's just one example here but this could also just be like showing like you know that other people are not alone that they're not alone um talking with people um asking how people are um you know genuinely asking you know how are you doing you know um you know is there anything that you know you need or i've missed you or um standing up for somebody you know if there's some kind of wrong uh done you know making things right showing the right way um being a leader in that regard you know there's a lot uh that can be done to show you know um the divine feminine but also other people because it's also very important too that this is also shown to other people as well because if it's just shown to one person um it's it's not it needs to go everywhere that showing your care has to go everywhere and it also has to go with the person who is who is also doing the showing as well showing themselves that they care caring for the self so i'm going into a, a lot here but i do feel like i really need to emphasize this because that could be uh part of that refinement here to making things more graceful and um that could be part of the conversation here uh for this new start for abundance all right so that's what i'm getting here and so please do leave a like if you like this reading if it resonated 
and thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and all the best. Take care.